Hey there, fellow Factorians. Onerous here with another episode of Let's Learn Bobs and Angels. And here we are in our little farming community. Uh, we have some puffers going, uh, but we need, from last episode, that's right, we need blazing puffers. And we need one more blazing puffer to create this method of infinite blazing puffers. Uh, but yeah, we're just not getting them. I've created a second gas puffer, and yeah, the sound effects are going um, but yes we're just not just not seeing it so I think what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna leave this going and uh, let these guys kind of sit and be free um, and what we need to do is look at some of the things we need once we actually get this up and running so uh, let's bring up the science and have a look at what we need for our rocket silo. Uh, da, 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 da. I should just search for rocket, shouldn't I? There we go, rocket. Rocket silo. All right. Uh, so the last tech we need is uh, is modules, which needs actual modules to uh, to create. Um, can we uh, can we can we research that without modules? I don't think we can. But all we need is whatever that little little module was, and it looks like it's one of these speed module one. Uh, so module cases we can make. Uh, no, so that is where we need we need the crystals for that. All right, that is real shame. Um, and there is the only the one way to make them. All right. Well, uh, let's let's hope that one day we get we get those. Uh, so the next thing we can do is uh, rocket control units. What do we need to make those? Uh, we need we need purple purple boards and CPUs. So purple boards are stuff that we already have. Uh, we don't have fiberglass board, do we? Okay, uh, glass fiber from molten glass and liquid resin from a bunch of gases. All right, there is some nice stuff there that we're going to need to research. Uh, and then CPUs, uh, gilded copper wire, which is copper and gold. Okay, so that's okay. It's just the fiberglass board that we need to work on. Uh, the rest of this stuff is available. Well, we can potentially build. Uh, now, heat heat shielding is the other thing. And I'll move away from these. Uh, silicon nitride and tungsten carbide. Here we go. Uh, so tungsten oxide from tungsten acid. And that is from... Tungsten ore, unsurprisingly, and hydrogen chloride gas, uh, which I think we can make fairly easily. Uh, it also creates calcium chloride uh, that we could use. Well, uh, we'll figure these things out. Uh, so that's the heat shielding plate. And what else do we need? Low density structures. Uh, let's. Uh, is there a rocket part showing up in here? Uh, rocket silo. Because uh, the other thing we need was rocket fuel. And ooh, we, yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to bother with satellite. Um, so rocket fuel. There we go, rocket part. All right. Uh, so it's just rocket control units. Yes, heat shielding tiles and rocket fuel. Um, all right, so the rocket fuel, we need rocket fuel capsule, which is some gas, and a rocket oxidizer, which is more gas as well. Uh, so we've made nitric acid before. That's nothing new. Um, this is what is new. And it comes from ammonia, which we have made, and oxygen. All right. Uh, that's all okay, ish. Okay, ish. I'd say yeah. We uh, we do have a bit of work ahead of ourselves. 
Um, I was kind of hoping while we're talking we just magically get the puffer that we need, but uh, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. All right. Well, let's let's not wait around for our crystals to come. Let us work on one of these other things. And I think, uh, honestly, the CPU stuff is probably uh, probably the best stuff because it's also going to open up a lot of uh, a lot of tech. Uh, so to do that, uh, we have we have all this stuff. Uh, our gold plate, though, I must admit, is pretty low. We can probably just amp that up with a second. Uh, a second one of these. Why not? Um, just like that. Easy. Uh, that's a fair bit of gold. All right. Uh, what is that? Why is that not being made? Oh, there we go. Someone's coming. Uh, so, uh, the fiberglass board is something that we, we have not done. Uh, we need liquid resin, which comes from a bunch of gases. So, formaldehyde from uh, methanol. And uh, we can get methanol from cellulose fiber. So this is interesting because our current way of getting methanol is just a little bit, a little bit average. Um, and we totally lost it. Uh, which one was it? Glass fiber? Nope. The resin, formaldehyde from methanol. Here we go. Um, yes, our current method of getting methanol is pretty average, but we can do carbon dioxide uh, from coal. Carbon dioxide from coal is a good one. Uh, carbon dioxide from wood pellets. That would actually be quite nice, wouldn't it? Let's, uh, let's, let's make some wood pellets, shall we? Um, and sure, we'll throw that in anyway. Uh, charcoal, carbon, and carbon dioxide from wood pellets. And wood pellets comes from cellulose fiber. So, let's make some cellulose fiber, shall we? Because uh, that seemed to help us. All right, cellulose fiber comes from green algae. And uh, where do we get green algae from? Uh, from algae farms. It also comes from some other stuff. Uh, we can process some squashes, some more farming. Uh, well, that's also very interesting. Just wood. Wood turns into cellulose fiber. Uh, that seems really, really simple. So let's uh, let's do that because I think I think we'll find we've got a fair bit of wood. In here, don't we? I uh, got 27,000 wood. That'll make us a little bit of cellulose fiber. Uh, so let's come up here and make some cellulose fiber from wood. All right, two wood makes four fiber. Uh, that's great. And now, where was that? Fiber. Nope. Cellulose. Uh, okay, yes, the American spelling, F-I-B-E-R, of course. Uh, so, let's just make a stack of this. And uh, let us... Fiberboard. Um, let us limit this to uh, not 100, let's say 500. Uh, what's the stack here? 60. What sort of time frame are we looking at here? Two seconds. Well, that's, that's pretty slow. Uh, I'm going to copy that guy then. Just because we can. Uh, nope, wrong, uh, wrong power pole, of course. There we go. Alright, so on the way is 200. On the way is 200. Beautiful. Uh, that'll get us some cellulose fiber. And then we can turn that cellulose fiber into the stuff we need for... Um, methanol, methanol gas from cellulose fiber. There we go. All right, and uh, we want to turn some of that cellulose fiber into wood pellets because that makes carbon dioxide. Uh, what do we? This is to make fiberglass board, was it? No. Uh, I've forgotten what we're making already. 
Uh, rocket part. Just doesn't come up in here, does it? Uh, let's go. What does a rocket control unit make? A rocket part. There we go. Um, oh, yes. Rocket fuel. Rocket fuel. No, that's not. What were we looking at? Oh, man. I've confused myself. Um, fiberglass board from that. Liquid resin. Oh, here we go. Okay, liquid resin, carbon dioxide, and formaldehyde from methanol. And a green metal catalyst. Alright, well let's uh let's pick an area. We've got a nice little nice little area over here that is untouched. Um, let's just run up here and uh, touch it. Sounds a bit sick, doesn't it? But let's put down some concrete and claim it for some construction works. Thank you, bots. Thank you. All right. Uh, looks like that bit doesn't want to write overwrite it. Overwrite it. Thanks, guys. Uh, you might need to recharge. Poor, poor little bots. All right. So let's have a look again at what we are doing. So a fiberglass board from liquid resin, which is made in a can plant from urea and formaldehyde. So urea is ammonia and carbon dioxide. Um, now, we have an ammonia plant already uh, producing ammonia. And are we putting it in any kind of any kind of tank or anything? No, that would have been smart, wouldn't it? Um, maybe I do not do it up here and I'll do it down here where we already have the ammonia. Uh, we'll uh, we'll have to see if we actually have enough ammonia. But at least we'll be able to get something up and running. So let's grab one of these tanks that we have and find out uh, ammonia tank could go right there. Uh, yes, it could. All right. So back in here, back in here. Uh, fiberglass board. All right, we're making liquid resin, uh, hmm, which is going to be a liquid, so we want to actually make it near where we're going to make the boards. Uh, I guess we could fit it all in here, couldn't we? Uh, yep, sure. All right, so urea comes from ammonia and carbon dioxide. Uh, let's make our carbon dioxide. From our uh, ooh, wood pellets, we're going to do that, weren't we? How do we make wood pellets? Well, wood pellets uh, come from cellulose fiber. Beautiful. All right. Uh, this is not actually getting built. Uh, I think I need the other tank. Tank, tank, tank. Uh, there it is. Uh, regular, regular storage tank. All right. There we go. Hopefully that will get built now. Uh, let us create some wood pellets. Let's uh, totally mess with our normal arrangement and put this off to the side. There we go. All right. Copy that in there. Copy that in there. There we go. Cellulose fiber, please. And yeah, we've got some. Some on the way. It's made up pretty quickly. Uh, let's connect you in and say search. Oops, search for wood pellets. Uh, let's just say 500 of these. Sure, it'll even itself out uh, naturally. So now we have we have ammonia gas. We have wood pellets for carbon dioxide, we can make urea. All right. I feel like we're going a long way around. Let's uh, let's just start right here, shall we? All right. Uh, urea from ammonia and carbon dioxide. So we need to make that carbon dioxide in chemical plant. Uh, I do happen to have one or two here. And... Uh, look, we'll uh, we'll just start it up here. All right. You, my friend, are making. 
carbon dioxide. There we go, carbon dioxide from wood pellets. Beautiful. Uh, you'll need you'll need one of these. Requesting wood pellets. Yep. Beautiful. All right, and there is our carbon dioxide. How much is this producing? Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, this is 70 every two seconds, and we want to turn that into urea. Uh, this one, ammonia and carbon dioxide. So this needs 40 carbon dioxide a second. Uh, and what do we say? 70. All right, so we can almost support two of these. Uh, how much ammonia is this using? It's using 60 in two seconds. Uh, what are we producing down here? Each one of these is producing 100 in two seconds, so that's 200 a second. Okay, that's that's a fair bit of ammonia. We'll, we'll be okay. We'll be all right, people. Um, of course, this just happens to not be particularly, particularly beneficial, is it? Um, all right, there we go, there we go. Uh, which one of these is ammonia? Not ammonia, sorry, urea. I don't know what the uh, symbol looks like. We'll just have to do a search. There it is. All right. Uh, and now just to bring our friendly little guy here, somehow uh, I think that is probably a better chance of making it past here. And let's do this to bring it in. All right, wonderful. Power this up. Uh, we're going to want to clarify that and then tank that. Okay, there we go. Clarifier. We happen to have one handy. Uh, how much is this is making? Uh, not much. Not much at all. There we go. One clarifier will be enough to do that. So we now have a tank with urea gas in it. Step one, complete uh, for liquid resin. And then the other part is formaldehyde, which comes from methanol and a green metal catalyst. Aluminium, silver. Do we have aluminium and silver in the logistics network? Let's have a look. Uh, aluminium ore, no. And silver ore, we do have silver ore in the network, that's good. Uh, what we are going to have to do is set up a train for aluminium ore. Let's get that going straight away. There we go. Uh, let's have a quick look at the aluminium ore. Situation is two tanks, two, uh, not two tanks, two, uh, two wagons. All right. Let's fuel you up and give you a schedule of, um, yeah, that's got to happen, and then uh, aluminium ore loading. All right, let's pop you up the top. Uh, full cargo, circuit condition, empty cargo, and this one is our aluminium ore less than 5,000. Beautiful. All right. Let's get you on your way. Wow, I was uh, incredibly close to that train. Okay, no, nothing to worry about, people. We've got it under control. Um, mine just a little bit of concrete, just to cover up our area here. This is farming over here. That can be dirt, but we're making we're making other stuff over here. Wow, that's very loud. Thank you, bots. Um, all right, so with our aluminium ore, uh, we need to create a catalyst. Oh, that's loud. Uh, we need to create a green metal catalyst, which is done in one of these, nice and easy. All right, start you up here. There we go. All right, green metal catalyst. Let's get you to do that. Uh, except I don't want you to actually. Well, I kind of. No, I don't want you to do that. Um, for some reason, I have 50 of those, which is actually really handy. 
because uh, this, this is a sort of closed loop system we can feed that back in um, yeah one to one so we can just feed that back in so this is done in chemical plants uh, can I just get 20 chemical plants please I'm sure I'm going to need them um, so if we just do uh, if we just do that like that uh, okay that's our green metal catalyst and then we need uh, the other, we need the ores coming in, let's rotate that, we can't rotate that of course we can't um, so we also need our methanol gas which comes from our cellulose fiber in another chemical plant have I not received my chemical plants? Uh, I have none in storage, okay what's going on guys? Um, why have I got no chemical plants in storage? Am I out of the storage zone? Is that what it is? Yeah, that is exactly what it is. All right. Let's pop down one of these over here. And there we go. On the way. Beautiful. Um, let's get some power up in this joint. Don't like that guy being that. Uh, let's spin you around. Uh, so you need to be methanol. Uh, nope, that's not the methanol I want. That's the methanol I want. Coming from a cellulose fiber. Beautiful. Um, and you produce... Ooh. Ooh. Crafting time. 30 seconds. I didn't see that. Um... Wow, that is not going to be the amount we need. Maybe. Let's see, what do we need? We need 100 every 2 seconds. Hmm, we're going to need 15 of these. Uh, let's rearrange that slightly. Okay, new plan, new plan. Let's do it this way. 15 of these, wow. Alright. Uh... Let's do it like this, with one of these in the middle. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Alright. Uh, there we go. Methane. So there are definitely better ways of making methane. I'm not going to uh, not gonna lie about that, but this will work. Alright. Uh, is that 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... Uh, 12, 13, 15. All right, yep. Yeah, we did it. All right. Let's get that across to there. Uh, if I go all the way over to here, it might be better. All right, we don't need much throughput because this is actually pretty slow, so we can just do that. And you can go there, and like that. All right. Whew. Um, you actually need a rover put over here to get your fibers going. Uh, 25 and 30 seconds. All right. Ah, uh, yeah, you'll uh, you'll get there. You'll get there eventually. Uh, why aren't you working? Oh, well, I forgot to set up. I forgot to set up that, didn't I? There we go. All right. Let's uh, copy you across, uh, except for you guys, there we go, don't need you, don't need you, and don't need you, alright, we now should be in action, alright, we've got massively low on cellulose fibre at this point, but because uh, this takes forever to actually build, we're not using that much cellulose fibre, but what we are creating is... Uh, catalysts, 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 catalysts. Why is this situation not working? Because um, we are not using any synths, that's why. Alright, that's okay. Um, so this now turns into 
Yeah, liquid resin. Uh, formaldehyde. So we're producing here, is it not? Yep, formaldehyde. And urea is there. So this is done, surprise, surprise, in another one of these. Um, all right, well, let's, let's just see how you go. Uh, liquid resin. Plastic liquid resin. Um, yeah, well, of course, of course you're that way. Why wouldn't you be? Um, something like that. Ah, well, uh, that's that's not my favourite thing. Not my favourite thing. All right, guys. Uh, you win. You win. There we go. And there we go. And good resin, beautiful. Alrighty, if we just power that up and then pop that into straight into a tank, why not? Um, with that liquid resin, we also need glass fiber, and glass fiber is made from molten glass. Now, somewhere we made glass. Somewhere, somewhere. I feel it was up here. If we could just tap into that glass. Uh, is this it? Molten glass, beautiful. So, to make glass fibre we put that into a strand casting machine. Uh, of which we have a billion made uh, that we've never used. Uh, it's not that one, I think it's this one. No, it is that one? No, this one. Got it. Got there eventually, alright. Let's just see uh, how many of these do we need. If we want to make, uh, say, one of these a second, uh, we only need a quarter of a glass fiber, fiber a second. All right, well, that is something. Um, where did I put those guys? Oh, they're pretty beefy. Um, they're beefy. Yes, they are. That's not going to work. I guess, I guess you're going up here, guys. Little, little teacher. Um, so you are making glass fibre. There we go. All right. And I don't think we need both of these going, but uh, so be it. I can tap out here. Uh, of course, that's going to happen. Uh, I can't believe that's actually the right line. That's a little bit, a little bit crazy. There we go. And then uh, let's power these guys up and have them deposit, deposit into a chest, please. Uh, you go there. You go there. Let's pick these guys up. Drop them in there. And let's get you attached. Uh, glass fiber coil. There we go. And again, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set these to 200. I think 200 should be fine. Let's copy that there, and then you're gonna need to do that. Um, sadly, there's no concrete under here, so let's just remedy that. And then that looks really weird, doesn't it? So let's bring that right across there. All right, and across there. And then we can hook you up with a RoboPort network. Okay, so now we have a bunch of glass fiber coils. We can come down here and we can make our glass fiber, our fiber glass, sorry, not glass fiber, fiber glass, fiber glass over here. And where do we make fiberglass in? Um, just, a, uh, just a regular old one of these. Fiberglass. Fiberglass. There we go. Hook you up. And let's get you a requester so we can bring in some of the goodies. Um, there we go. Grab all the goodies. And let's output you right there. All right. So this is making uh, four a second. 
Yeah, that's, that seems all right. Craft speed of two, so it's eight a second. That's that's pretty decent. Uh, again, we'll connect you up and say our fiberglass less than. Uh, let's just have one stack. I don't think we need. Uh, we probably want more than that. Um, just thinking how we actually feed this into our uh, into our multi-layer circuit connection. So. Anyway, we now have fiberglass board. We have copper plate already, gold plate. We have ferric chloride solution. Um, might, just, might need to up the production of that, but for now we have it. So we can make the base, the base board that we need. Um, how are we doing for time? Uh, we are spot on with that half hour. Uh, but what I wanted to check was this. Uh, we are in action. All right. Um, so I don't want to make any more of these because this is self uh, self perpetuating. Uses two blazing puffers, creates two blazing puffers. Uh, so we are good there. Uh, we can now turn these puffer eggs that should be coming out here. There should be a 50% chance of getting one of those. Didn't get it last time, but maybe this time. Um, we should be able to get some crystals out of that, so maybe we'll do that next episode. Uh, we are set up with our fiberglass board to start making the purple equivalents of these, and uh, we'll go from there. So, as always, love to hear your comments down below. Uh, I think we're getting, we're inching our way closer, inching our way very, very, very slowly, but getting there. And hopefully, we'll get to our rocket sooner rather than later. And I'll see you tomorrow.